I've got this hacksaw, and the blade is very old and very dull. So I'm going to try to turn this hacksaw blade into a lockpick. For this project, you'll need a set of files or some other grinding tool. I'll be using my Dremel. You'll also need a propane torch, a bucket of water, some pliers, and of course a hacksaw blade. I bought this half diamond pick a while back. I'm going to use it as a template. So I'm going to lay it over the hacksaw blade. And then I want to keep track of how long it needs to be. So I'll use a sharpie to place a mark. Then I'll clamp the blade in my bench vise. The side I want to use is on the bottom. Don't forget your safety glasses. Now all we really need to do is bend this blade back and forth until it snaps. There we go. Now I've got a small blade that's just the right size. I like the hole in the end of this, so I'll keep that in my handle, and then I'll carve away this side. Use the pliers to grab the handle end. We need to make the other side red hot and let it cool to make it soft. So use the propane torch, and heat up the end until it's red hot. In this case, it doesn't have to be all red at the same time. Just make sure that every part of the end gets red at some point. Then set it down and let it cool on its own. Now we're going to grind away all the teeth. Get your bucket of water ready so you can quench the blade. We need to make sure that when we're grinding it, it doesn't get too hot. This can affect the hardness of the blade. So now we just start grinding the teeth away. Make sure you quench it in the water occasionally so it doesn't get too... Once all the teeth are gone, it should look something like this. Now I'll lay my template on top of the pick I'm trying to make. I can use a sharpie to make an outline. Now I know I can be pretty reckless just down to that line. After that, I need to be more careful. So now it's just a lot of grinding work. This would likely go quicker if you had a good bench grinder. Eventually I ended up with something like this. You can see my pick is much thicker than the original pick. This is definitely not going to work, but now I know I'm close and I just need to be careful. After some more work, I got it to look really close. You can see they line up very closely, though they're not identical. This is actually okay. This is the great thing about making your own lockpicks. You can custom design them to your own preferences. Play around and see what works best for you. Now we have to harden the new pick. To do this, we use the propane torch and try to get the entire soft end red hot at the same time. Try to keep as much of it red at the same time as possible. Once it's mostly red, dip it in the water to quench it. This will make the pick hard, but also brittle. It might break off in the lock. We'll fix this in a minute. First we need to sand off the oxidation layer so we can see the color of the actual metal. And now we can see the shiny color of the metal. Next we're going to temper the steel. For our purposes we're going to slowly and evenly heat the end with the propane torch until it's just a little bit yellow. Yellow is the first color it should turn. 
so keep a close watch and don't let it go past that yellow color. I find it's best to start on the thicker end and work your way back, because the thicker end is slower to heat up. You can see here how the metal has turned kind of a yellow color. I accidentally went a little too far with this. I got some dark spots and some blue spots. If this happens to you, all you need to do is harden it again. Make it red hot and quench it. Then sand down that oxidation layer and try again. Around my third try, I finally got what I was looking for. It's just a very slight yellow color, pretty even all the way down. Set it down and let it cool on its own. Then sand it up and make it pretty. And here's the finished product. Not bad. A little research will tell you that you also need a tension wrench. I happen to have this one, but you can use a lot of different things as a tension wrench. Now's your chance to get creative. So let's try this out. Make sure the handle's locked. We'll put in the tension wrench and apply a little pressure. And then insert the pick. After a little time playing with the pins, pops open. You can see that the handle now rotates. So with just some basic tools, you can turn an old useless hacksaw blade into a new useful tool. Look online, find some patterns, and make yourself a whole set of lock picks. And never lock yourself out of the house again. Don't forget to like or subscribe if you enjoy these videos.